Are the benefits you see in patients with fasting, um, could you achieve the same benefits with just straight up calorie restriction? The short answer is no. So the thing about fasting and calories is you have to understand that the body doesn't act on calories, it acts on hormones. So if you uh, think about fasting and the hormonal changes, it's totally different. So insulin goes down and then you have these other hormones that go up, which is the counter-regulatory hormones. So for example, cortisol will go up, growth hormone will go up, you'll activate your sympathetic nervous system. So those are all normal responses to fasting. And we know when insulin falls, this goes up. So those don't happen, of course, if you simply calorie restrict, because when you, when you simply count your calories, you could have, you know, on a ketogenic diet, for example, very little effect on insulin, or if you were to eat a standard diet with 50, 60% carbohydrate, you could reduce your calories significantly, but still have a huge insulin effect. Because if all you're eating is sort of like white bread all day, your insulins are gonna go through the roof, but you're gonna eat very few calories. So the point is that you're not, you know, you have to focus in on the right thing. The right thing to focus in on is not the calories. The right thing to focus in on is the sort of language of the body, which is hormones. Mm -hmm. Everything in our body runs on hormones. So you have to say not, oh, how many calories is this? It's what's happening to my insulin. If the calorie restriction is not lowering your insulin, you're not gonna get the same effect. Right. You can eat a lot of calories, but have very low insulin effect, like the ketogenic diet, and you're gonna mimic the fasting in a much better way than a calorie, a, a, even a very stringent, calorie restricted diet because you cut out all the fat for example and you're eating pure carbohydrate yeah. you're going to have very few calories but a ton of insulin effect which is going to want it's going to tell your body to basically store that fat so this is the point that you have to focus in on the, the hormone so you can't say oh calorie restriction will do the same thing it could do the same thing if you do it right it could do the wrong thing if you if you don't do it right so it's, it's a completely different uh, story and the other thing with with um food is that Everybody thinks the fasting makes it harder, but it actually makes things easier over the long term. Yeah, because really. if you, and this is the thing that I always find funny, is that if you look at a lot of um, advice, it's to eat sort of like small meals, like six, seven small meals throughout the day. Yeah. <laughs> and it's always struck me as a little strange because it's like, okay, well, you know, let's take a sort of time-honored tradition, which is having appetizers. Appetizers are small sort of bites to stimulate the appetite. <laughs> that is, when you eat a little bit, you get more <laughs> hungry, not less hungry, okay? So we know this happens. You know, we've been eating for centuries, so people know, hey, if you give a people a little bit, you'll stimulate the appetite. So why would you want to eat a little bit stimulate your appetite then deliberately stop eating yeah like are you insane like a that's lot of crazy discipline to exert yeah. throughout the day and you're gonna do this 10 times a day and you think that's good advice like one where is the science behind this 10 six times a day 10 times a day and you see doctors who tell us say this all the time mm -hmm. it's like one you actually have no scientific basis to say that two everything tells you that this is like the stupidest thing you want to do. You don't want to stimulate the appetite, then stop eating yeah. and do this over but and over But what about starvation again. mode? <laughs> yeah, that's a total myth. <laughs>